Lord, we thank you for this um, incredible moment and these two incredible people that we've had the privilege to raise. We thank you that you brought them together. We pray your love over them, your peace, your protection. We, we pray that they would be a bright spot in a dark world as they live for you. And they will do that together, Lord, we know, and they'll encourage each other to do that. And we lift them up in Jesus' name. On behalf of Jordan and Kyler, I thank you for being here for this incredibly important occasion in their lives. But this is more than just a ceremony. This is a worship service. Kyler, how incredibly insane is it that today is the day that we become one? I had no idea that the Troy football player who ignored me when I tried to introduce myself on the way to play beach volleyball at SBP in 2017 would end up being the guy that I would eventually spend the rest of my life with. On paper, we look like we would never work. In the dictionary, we are 100% anonyms. You're the guy in the room making everyone laugh without even trying, and I'm the girl who, within 30 minutes, had spent 20 of those 30 talking to someone in the corner about their whole life story. Jordan, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not thankful for you. All the things you do to the person you are, I don't know what it is about me that keeps you around, but I'm the luckiest man in the world. Jordan, you have been just an absolute joy. Your soul is so soft presence gives space for others. God has uniquely made you to be empathetic and powerful. You are a blessing to me. Kyler, the one thing that I've just gathered from you is that you literally have to make mistakes to figure it out. It only spurs you on further though. You are resolute, committed and firm and whatever you step into. Kyler, your job is not to fix her. Your job is not to save her from everything. The joy that is set before you is the joy of giving to Jordan what Christ gave to you. Jesus gave himself when we were far off, when we were running, when we gave up, and when you least deserved it. You're to give yourself to Jordan when she is far off, when she is running, when she gives up, and when she least deserves it. Because like we are the object of Christ's affection, she is the object of yours. You are my entire world, and I could not imagine life without you. Out of seven billion people, God put us together. I cannot even begin to describe how excited I am to do life with you. You are my good and perfect gift from above. The Lord has never hardened my heart to you, Kyler, even when I wanted to do it myself. I vow to be your companion and your safe space to land and be vulnerable. I vow to Ahava you forever. Kyler, you may kiss your bride. Boy. <laughs> I believe it's your power, shit.